Hey, what's up? It's Swamp. Back for another tutorial. Okay, in this one I'm going to show you how to connect an effect to the rider, like rain or snow. So that uh, if you're making a snow track or a rainy track, you only have to use one effect. And you don't have to use a lot throughout the whole track and because that causes performance issues. So let me show you how to do it real quick. First we're going to open up effects and we're going to grab some snow. We'll grab snowfall light. Open it up and set it to variation 2. Make it a little bit more snowfall. Alright, and then we're going to open up triggers on events. And we're going to grab... Sorry. We're going to grab an interval trigger. And we're going to grab an object position event under events. And we're going to grab an object... I mean a vector object info. Vector object info is going to give you the three coordinates of whatever you select. So get the vector object info, open it up, select object, and click on the rider's head. That will give you the position in the world of the rider's head. Now open up the object position event, turn off local because we're using global coordinates. Uh, pick value object for position X, pick value object for Y and pick value object for Z. Select that vector with the three positions of the rider's head. Now for the event target, we're going to select the snowfall. All right, now to power everything, we need to open up the interval trigger. So open up the interval trigger, set that interval to one, which is going to be one tick every frame. There's 60 frames a second. You want one tick every frame to make a nice smooth movement. And the event target is going to be the object position event. All right, so now if we hit play, you see that the snow jumps to the rider's head and it's going to stick there. So now let's test the track and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good until you get going fast and you pretty much start outrunning the snow. So let's try to fix that. So let me show you what you can do. So you could actually change the pivot point of the snow. So let's open up common physics tools and grab an object glue tool. Now open up the glue tool and select glue members. You want to select the snowfall. That's going to give you a new pivot point. You see it centers that centers that pivot point on the snow because that's the only thing in the glue group. So now let's select the pivot and move it back to the rider's head and leave the snowfall in front of the rider. So you see now everything moves at once but the pivot point is going to be at the rider's head but the snow is actually in front of the rider. Now just for safety sake I like opening this up going to advanced physics and setting it to decoration only and that's so you won't kill the rider accidentally. Okay so now the object position event you're going to have to reselect the event target because it unselects things when you glue things so just click on the snowfall again and that will select the pivot point. You see it goes to the pivot point, it doesn't go to the snowfall event, it goes to the, I mean effect, it goes to the pivot point. So it's actually going to move from the pivot point from there. Alright, so now let's test the track again. You see that works a little better. Works a lot better actually. Alright, now let me show you one thing. Let's move this out a little bit further. Just because it looks like all right so now let me show you one thing when we test the track you can turn on icons and you can see the snowfall you can see it ahead of us you can see the glue group lines and so this looks pretty good but when you go around a corner or you go into a turn you see the snowfall keeps going straight and it doesn't it's not snowing on the rider anymore it's snowing behind the rider because the snowfall didn't change angles as the rider changed angles. So let me show you how to fix that. Now this, you're going to want to go to data sources because we're going to we're going to want to get the the angle of the rider to keep everything aligned. So get an object info data source. We're going to set it to angle x. And the object is going to be the rider, and I'm going to select about right in the middle of his body, like between his shoulder blades. That'll give you a good angle of the rider. Okay, so now we can connect 
yaw is going to be the right left movement so we can connect yaw to the angle and we can hit play and see what happens and so you see what happens is it throws it behind the rider and so now it's exactly opposite of where it needs to be because of the rider's angle so what we need to do is adjust that angle so I'm gonna grab an operator we're gonna grab a two input operator and the first thing and I'm gonna show you the difference in this there's gonna be I'm gonna do it this way first so we're gonna select the angle and we're gonna add 180 degrees which would bring it around to the front of the rider and be where it is now so it should fix it so we set this to 180 because that's going to be half of a 360 which is going to bring it around to the front of the rider and now our yaw we're going to set it up to be the adjusted number which is going to add 180 to the angle alright so now when you hit play you see it's facing the right direction so let's test the track you see it's facing right when you're going straight but when you go into a turn you see it turns the opposite direction you need it to turn it does rotate with the rider but it's rotating in the opposite direction so what we need to do is fix that and the one way to fix that is you need to go with a negative number from here so go to your two input operator and switch the first number to be 180 and then what you want to do is you want to subtract the angle from 180 degrees so subtract that angle connect the second operand to the angle and you see now it stays at the same angle that it was but when you test the track now you see it subtracts the angle from the rider's angle instead of adding it so it rotates in the same direction thus keeping the snowfall in front of the rider so that's how you do it and one thing you could do you could bring in a little bit more snow you could just copy this bring it ahead a little bit and you can have two of these and it'll give you more snow ahead of the rider and a little look a little bit more realistic you know covering all the way to the right hand side of the screen but it does rotate with the rider so it's like you're riding into the snow and it rotates with you so no matter which way you turn or you have a curved driveline no matter which way it turns it's going to rotate the snow with you thus keeping the snow in front of you and you only have to use in this case two snowfall effects instead of using them throughout your whole track so that's how you do that thanks for watching have a good time